Welcome back, I'm Andreas Schatt, your tech curious web designer. In this video, we will build signals that will create user profile pages automatically when a user signs up to the site. Let's see how this works. So signals are used to trigger an action. For example, in our case, when the user signs up to the site, Django will create a user object and once this is saved in a database, the signal will be triggered to create a profile page for this user. And it will also save the email address of this user in the profile database. The signal we will be using in this case is the post save signal, which, as the name suggests, is triggered after an object is saved in the database. There are a couple of more triggers available to us, such as the pre-save, post-delete, pre-delete and more. Let's create now the signal. So in our users folder, we create a new file and we call it signals.py. And in here we basically create a function now to create a profile. So df create underscore profile. So let's convert this function now in a signal. So we add some parameters here. First one is sender, which defines the model class that's been triggered. Then we have the instance. Here we will receive the object which was created. Then we have the parameter created which refers to a boolean value. So a boolean value is true or false. And this indicates whether a new instance of the model is being created or an existing instance is being updated. And we also add the parameter quarks at the end with two asterisks in front. This stands for keyword arguments and they're basically dictionaries. And it means we could add any number of dictionaries to this function as well. By the way, there exists args as well, which stands for arguments, like the ones we added already. So args and quarks are used to indicate that the function can accept any number of values in the form of arguments or keyword arguments. So these are our parameters. Now we have to add a decorator to this function. So on top here we add a add receiver decorator and this decorator defines the signal we're using. We're using here the post underscore safe signal and the sender is the user table. So let's import now this receiver decorator. So from Django dispatch import receiver. Let's import the post save method. So from Django DB models signals import post save. Now the user model. From Django contrib auth models import the user. All right, now let's write this function. So first I declare what this instance actually is. In this case, the instance is the newly created user object. So user equals instance and then we say if created so if a new user is created in the database we want a new profile to be created so profile now we're creating a new object from the profile class let's import it so from dot models import profile and now let's create a new profile object. So we write dot objects dot create. And here in parentheses, we add the user of this new profile object is the instance we receive here. And this instance we named user. So we write user equals user. And then we also add the email. So email equals user dot email. This create method is creating this object and also saving it into the database. So let's save this file. 
our signal is created. Now we have to register this signal so Django is aware of it. And we do that in the apps.py file. So let's go to the apps.py. And here we have to add a ready method. So def ready, and it is importing here the signals file from the users folder. Save. Now let's do a test. So let's sign up. We add user3. User 3 is created and we can see here the profile is also created. We go to my profile and there we go. Let's edit this profile now. I upload the image. I add the name. Pete Sake. Now let's say I would like to change the email. If I update the email here now, it will not update in the user table yet, because we are still missing that functionality. Let's implement it now also using signals. So back to our signals.py file. So let's add the update user function. So here again we're using the post save signal. When the profile is saved or updated, we will send this trigger and it's coming from the profile table. Here we name the instance, which is the profile in this case. Here we check if created is false, meaning we check if we're really dealing with an updated instance, not a newly created one. Then here we're getting the user object. Let's import the get object of 404 function. So from Django shortcuts, import get object 044. So this function is accessing the user table and we're looking for an object with the ID of profile.user.id. So here we fetch the right user object. Then we're updating here the email property of that user. So user.email equals profile.email. This is the email we update in the profile database and then we save the user. So this is now sending a signal to the user table and update the email filter. So save the file. Let's test this now. So we change the name here to Pete. We add a location, Stockholm and bio. Groovemaster. Submit. Now let's check this out in the admin panel. So for convenience sake, I have the admin panel open in a different browser. So here I'm using Google Chrome and our admin panel will live on Firefox. So I don't have to constantly sign in and sign out. And here let's inspect our users. And as we can see here, user3 has speed at email.com as the email. Nice, it updated in the user table. Now, a user can only update their email on the edit profile page, but let's say an admin wants to change the email address of a user in the user table, then it has to update also the email in the profile table. So let's add this single now as well. So back to the singles to py file. We can add this functionality to the create profile function. So in here, we can add an else condition. So the first one is if the user is created. Else we are dealing here with a update to a user instance. So in here, first we want to get the right profile object. So profile equals get object 444 we access the profile table and we are retrieving the object with the user 
equals the user, which is this user instance here. Okay, then we say profile.email equals user.email. So we update here the email property on the profile object with the email value in our user instance here. And then profile.save. However, before we get any further, here we have a problem because this creates now an infinite loop. So whenever we update a user in the user table, it will trigger an action in the profile table, which will then again trigger an action in the user table. So it is very important that we stop this loop and we can do that by adding a condition in our signal to check if a value needs to be updated or not. So I'm adding this to my update user function here. So here I'm saying if user.email is not an acclamation mark and an equal sign means is not. So if the user.email is not the profile.email colon, I assign the profile email value to the user email field and save the user object. In here now we have this condition, if the email in the user table is already the same as in the profile table, this signal will not be triggered. Okay, save this file. Let's check it out. Let's go back to our admin panel. So let's edit the email address now. We go back to user three and save. And now we check in our profiles, user three. It has the right email address here. Great, now our signals are implemented correctly. Now I would like to change the signing up process a little bit. So when you sign up with a new user, I would like to be redirected to the edit profile page. So I can add additional profile information, such as the avatar image, the name or the bio straight away before landing on the profile page. For this, I will create a new page, an onboarding page, which has pretty much the functionality of the edit profile page but we can optimize it for the onboarding process. So let's create this page now. We go to our templates. In the users folder, we create a new file and call it profile underscore onboarding dot HTML. So we can copy all the code from profile edit. and paste it in here. Here first let's edit the title. So instead of edit profile we can say complete your profile. Also instead of cancel we can write skip and we get rid of the delete profile link. This is something you can do on the edit profile page. Alright, save this file. Now let's redirect the user to this page when he signs up. So let's go to our sign up page. So this is in account, signup.html. And here we have to change this line here. So in the value property, we have to add the URL for the onboarding page. So we write URL profile dash onboarding. We still have to create this path. Let's do that now. So in our core folder in urls.py we add here the onboarding path. So profile slash onboarding. It takes the profile edit view and here we have the name of this path. Okay, save this file. Let's go back. Now we have the path here included and in here we also have to get rid of this if statement here. So get rid of this one here and this one. Okay. And we're done here. So save this file. 
Now let's go to our profile edit view and let's add their condition to select the right template. So in users, views.py, we go to the profile edit view and we add here a conditional. So if request.path equals reverse and in parentheses profile dash onboarding. So this reverse function here is retrieving the path with the name profile onboarding. So it is taking the path name and reversing it to get the corresponding URL. So we're saying here if the request.path, so this is giving us the URL of the current page, if this URL matches the URL with the name profile-onboarding, so this condition checks here if the user is on the onboarding page, the template we are using is the onboarding template. Let's create a variable here with the name template equals our onboarding template, so a underscore users slash profile underscore onboarding dot html and then else so if the user is not on the onboarding page but on the edit profile page we display this template here so copy and let's write template equals this one and here we add the template variable template we have to import the reverse function from Django URLs import reverse. Okay, that's done. Save this file and let's give it a try. Let's sign up with a new user. So we log out from this user and we sign up with a new one. This will be user four. And great, we are redirected now to the complete your profile page. Nice. Let's add an image. Okay, call it Bobby. And submit. Let's also create a new post for Bobby. So let's go to Flickr. So let's take this picture here. This is a great picture of the famous three peaks in Italy. Copy the link. Add the caption. Magical sunset. We choose landscape and submit post. Nice, it all works. We implemented the user authentication now. Created user profile pages. And in the next video, we will look into adding comments and replies to our post page. This is all for today. Thank you for watching. Until next time, happy coding.